Hello everybody, I hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have got a very good video for you all today. I am going to be going over the Bitcoin chart that we can see here right now, how I am trading it and then I'll also be covering the Bitfinex FUD, uh, obviously caused by Tether. And I'm going to start with that because in my opinion, that is what caused this big swift move to the downside. So we'll start with this uh, and just cover this. And this is why it just pays to be such a realist in trading and not holding biases and just trading trading the chart as it comes. Um, but let's start off with the, yeah, the bit for next bud, which obviously was caused I will leave this in a comment down below because I'm not going to fully go over this article. It's just a waste of time. You, you can read this yourselves. But basically, this article came out and then very shortly we saw a big drop in the charts. OK. So I really do believe that this drop was caused by this FUD, uh, but it's just interesting, you know, we at the same time you were hitting a resistance point, but it was kind of, let's zoom in and just review that we what we were looking at before we saw this drop, okay? So we actually had seen a very nice movement up. So we obviously had seen our sell-off, big sell-off a few days before, and then we had saw this gradual, gradual climb back up. Then we had broken this resistance. We had broken this resistance and was temporarily holding it as support. So this was looking pretty decent. In the short term, you could have argued um, definitely a bullish sentiment. OK, short term that we were moving up. We had broken resistance and we had closed above it. OK, and then we had a potential small parallel channel starting to form. OK, we had the potential of a parallel channel going to be forming above that resistance area, which you would be looking at as short short term bullish okay because then you had the potential although it didn't play out you know you have to remember this didn't play out because of the big uh, drop down from news based but um, you know you had the potential of this happening <laughs> where you basically the, the the way you could have removed all bias was you were looking at this as support, okay, this old resistance flipping into support as your support box, and then your full resistance, you were looking at this whole wicked region, okay, so the wicks, the wicks, the wicks, the wicks, this was old support that flips into resistance, and you were trading very simply in this area. If you break above the resistance, you enter into a long, okay, if you broke down, you entered into a short. What happened? We broke down very, very simply. And this is why you trade with no bias, because you was if you had like been stuck to your bias and I say, you know, we've broken above here, we're now bullish. And then you break down and you're like, oh, what do I do? This is why it pays so well to just adapt to the charts. And although you can be saying things are slightly bullish, things are slightly bearish. If the chart shows you a reason not to do or not to hold that bias, then you have to remove it without a second's thought and just trade the charts. OK, that is tip number one to making money. Do not hold your bias and just trade to the charts. Really, that is tip number Number one. Um, so what were we looking at here also when we had, you know, before we saw this drop? OK, we're taking our fibs from a few different reasons. You could you could have took your fibs from the swing high to the swing low. OK, move that down very slightly so it's level or from the overall swing high up here to the low. OK, either or. OK, when you eat, whether you're taking it from that swing high or that swing high, you were very much struggling here at the 0 0.5 fib. OK. So yesterday in our live stream, we were looking at the 0 0.5 fib up to the 618 fib if price managed to get over. Never got over this resistance and we obviously fell back down and, you know, we saw a big drop to the downside. OK, <laughs> um, uh, oh, yeah, j just so you're aware. So this live stream that I'm on about was actually an average student spontaneous uh, live stream that I just decided to do last night. Um, but it's actually uh, going to be public. So you can all just come across and watch this if you want. It was a it was for average students only last night, but. It's free to watch uh, if you feel like watching back this live stream now. There was some uh, quite uh, interesting stuff that we went through. So you can just come over on DLive and I'll leave this in the description as well. And you can basically just watch through the the stream if you want. We covered a few different altcoins. Obviously, yeah, none of these, uh, no, well, not, not none of them, but this one that we're going through here, like, I, I, you know, some of them have been invalidated because of the drop but it was quite an interesting stream that we went through so feel free to watch that if you would like um and so here we are back on the bitcoin chart that we're seeing right now so let's take a, a zoom out a second okay so what i am watching on this chart now okay so the way that i'm looking at this is although we have seen this really big sell-off okay so you see the sell-off and then you see price so you sell off price comes up in a bear flag and you sell off again okay so now you have to be aware of the same so you sell off you come up in a bear flag and then you sell off again okay so that's what we're watching each time that we sell off the potential of a bear flag until that bear flag is invalidated okay so while this still remains in a potential bear flag, we're just watching for this for another leg down potentially. OK, but in my opinion, there is a key, key, key support level that comes um, to hold us up. And that's 4,923 on the bit, bit, bitmex chart. OK, so bitmex highest volume. That's what we're looking at here. 
Okay, why is this such an important support? Because if we zoom out to the daily, we can see really clearly on the daily that this was a higher low. So obviously we formed our low, we then formed a high, we then formed a higher low, we then formed a higher high, then we formed our higher low to move up to our higher high. This is our last higher low on sort of a more of a macro scale. Although you could argue 4,650 is a really important support, more important. Uh, I still really believe 4,923, 4,923 is a very extremely important support level to be holding. Okay, and prices is holding it right now and that's why i argue um that you cannot lose all bullish sentiment although yes it's it's been greatly affected <laughs> okay it's been greatly affected we've we've fell, fallen outside of our parallel channel you can also see that we fall outside of our parallel channel you come back and you retest it and you sell off again so that's obviously yeah bearish okay so there are definitely bullish and bearish arguments on this chart okay i'm just going to clear up these lines a second for you all because we don't need to see these right now brilliant so yeah obviously we we have to acknowledge that there are bullish and bearish signs right now and that's why we have to be really uh really all eyes on the are on this 4923 for me you know if we lose that then i lose all bullish short-term sentiment okay because i was still or kind of just hoping as you all know uh, on this uh on this daily chart we are zooming out here and we were obviously taking our fibs and, and eyeing up this golden short opportunity okay it was, would have been the golden 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 short if we had reached this level and this would have been for me the number one as you'll know the top of this short i was going to take where it coincided with the top of the parallel it coincided with the 618 and it coincided with this old old resistance flipping into support this would have been short number one but unfortunately we might not make it to this level now okay and that's where if we do not make it up to this level it will be in my opinion because we lose 4923 and that's why i've got a key eye on this while we hold it although unlikely at this point in time there is still hope we are still holding the higher low although we've sold off outside of the parallel channel there is still that little bit of hope in the terms of you could be buying with your stop loss below this level okay so that's like something that i'm keeping in mind really 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 key um but yeah that, that that's for me the key at the moment okay so i'm yeah basically just so you're all aware i'm really really keeping my eye on 4923 okay if that's lost i do believe then the bullish sentiment is going to be absolutely battered and you can do you know you can be entering into some really nice short positions um but until that flips you want to be slightly careful with your shorts right now okay in my opinion you would want to be slightly careful unless you got in unless you got in on the breakdown okay unless you got in on the break and then you've you you're now sat in your shorts with you know um less worry because you know it is looking bearish so you could be less worried right now if you got into a short from the breakdown up here well done if you did but now you would be you know arguing that yes we have lost the um you know the tr the the, tra the, the parallel channel price came back up got rejected off of the old support flipping into resistance you know things are looking bearish but with that said i would just be you know i'm just trying to help people out and i would honestly be careful of this 4923 if you are shorting at this moment in time right now 5109 for example you know you do want to be a little bit careful although the bearish signs are there okay there's plenty of time to be shorting should we break that level okay um so that's what i wanted to mention for you all there um so yeah i think that's about everything that i wanted to say um you know keep your eye on these these fib levels keep your eye on the flag keep your eye on that parallel channel and keep your eye on this this support level what more can i say uh, <laughs> i think that's very helpful so um uh yeah that, that's everything that i want to say about on terms of bitcoin on obviously altcoins some of the altcoins today have been really nice to sculpt okay so some altcoins have actually performed really well okay and this is like for me i i don't mind holding tether while there's so much tether fud and um, what's quite funny is i tweeted where was my tweet from this morning um yeah so this one so this is something that i tweeted out obviously on the 2nd of may and i wasn't directly um trying to pinpoint that you know uh tether fud we're going to get tether fud again but it's just like hmm this last w really big wick here was caused by tether fud um are we potentially going to see another you know tether fud situation going on and you know seeing a drop to the downside and but well it, sure enough it is it did happen <laughs> we saw another tether fud going on today although in the opposite direction instead of a pump to the upside and that was from people obviously selling their um selling their tether into bitcoin which caused the pump uh here we obviously just have a you know a lot of people in, that i have read have you know sold their tether and gone into you know different sort of stable coins and then they obviously trade with a premium you've got your premium between your tether exchanges back um you know it's not a great situation obviously in the short term and that's why you want to be a little bit careful okay 
Sorry about that quick break. I just had to make a few trades and now we're back. So uh, as I was saying, there are, have been a little, a few, <laughs> there have been a few altcoins that have moved very nicely over the last 12 hours. Okay, since this drop on Bitcoin, um, you know, obviously here we're looking at Bitfinex and this is where a lot of people, as I, I think I was saying earlier, I can't remember now, this is like 10 minutes later, um, that a lot of people are so scared to hold Tether right now. They don't want to trade on Bitfinex, etc., moving their money out. Um, but yeah, I still continue to trade on Bitfinex. I'll still hold Tether. I literally am unaffected by this, this news. And maybe I'm naive for that reason. We'll we'll find out. But uh, yeah, over on Bitfinex, there's been like nice movements on some altcoins. Okay, so what is sort of, like quite funny or ironic for me is that some of the coins that have sold off the bet, the, you know, the most today uh, rebounded quite nicely. So obviously we had XRP with a nice five percent bounce off of the support level, and obviously this was a key support level from way back. Okay, so we're looking at this really massive key support. Okay, so obviously we saw the bounce from that very nicely via a wick and up eight percent on the day uh, up on up onto that like last resistance region. So that was a nice trade on uh, XRP. <clears throat> And obviously BSV, another coin that had sold off heavily, kind of like recovering, although this was a, this is a harder sculpt trade, but obviously coming down for this sort of bottom fishing, double bottom play, where you get into a double fishing and then you're coming up now to this old sort of resistance and like wicking off. So this one, not so much, but like XRP was just a really funny trade that, uh, you know, I, I, I generally don't trade XRP very much. I do trade it a little bit, but not too much. But this was just like one of these scenarios where you can just see it was support, support. We just came down, whipped onto the support and then move up. Uh, you know, currently still trying to move up as we speak. But obviously finding resistance now on this old resistance prior to the drop. Um, so, you know, there's, there's definitely altcoins to be traded out there. I would say in general, though. Uh, you do want to be careful with altcoins at the moment. Um, you know the the you know if Bitcoin is to get another leg down, obviously the altcoins are not going to f fare too well. One would one would expect they wouldn't do too well. Although today, generally, if you look at some of the BTC players. Uh, you know, some of them have been like holding up okay. Okay, so for instance, um, mm, good example like OST has held up okay. But like in terms of there was the sell off, it holds it holds up okay. You know, over on the day, zero point two percent. Uh, ONG, ONG today saw a nice spike. Okay, so obviously a nice spike, but it gave it all back. But there has been like some opportunities in some of these alts, but generally speaking, the majority are doing very bad. So you do want to be like careful with the altcoins right now in my opinion and uh, you know there's better opportunities wait for this to calm down a little bit wait for the weekly close maybe see how uh you know how this goes with the tether fud uh whether we get some more information coming out by that uh, and obviously fud if you don't know just stands for fear uncertainty and doubt um so some people are saying oh this isn't fud it's real but obviously this is still fear uncertainty and doubt whether it's real or not um so yeah that's just um i just thought i'd say that um <clears throat> See, I think I'm going to wrap up the video. Uh, what was funny is that I saw this tweet from um, Captain Sunam. Thank you for the shout out, by the way. Top talent on crypto Twitter. Oh, yeah, 92%. <laughs> and then uh, market makers, moi, <laughs> sculptors, moi. <laughs> um, I love these shout outs. So thank you very much for this. And uh, here's some of your favorite uh, crypto stars. <laughs> um, but yeah, just generally speaking, like I've 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 actually taken a real big step back from crypto uh, Twitter lately, like Twitter posts in general, and obviously YouTube. I've also kind of taken a step back. I've been like really inactive with my content, um, and it's just from as you know, life life uh, life that I've had uh, recently has been going on. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've been I've been very inactive over the last few weeks, but I will be making some more regular content for you all now. Uh, I am back trading a lot more heavily. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, again, I'll leave the D Live link in the description if you want to back watch back through yesterday's average student live stream. Um, or if not, then yeah, I will also leave in a comment this uh, video, this article down below if you have not read it already. Uh, you most likely have no. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching. Thank you for the support and uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Cheers. Bye.